Hi folks, Steve from Martel Training Group. Today I'd like to talk about the new interim training requirements just released by the New Jersey State Police yesterday, July 18th, 2023. There are new forms, there are new, there's a new course of fire released, and there's also a use of force requirement to be taught by certified firearms instructors for all permit to carry applicants or holders in New Jersey. Let's get into it. So if you go to the New Jersey State Police website, njsp.org, under firearms information, and I'll put uh, screenshots and I'll also put links in the description, you will see that July 18th, 2023, they have put new forms and some new files for all permit to carry applicants. So the main thing is the use of force interim training for the private citizen concealed carry. It's about 19 pages. It's a PDF. You can download it. I recommend everyone download it, print it out, save it on your phone, read through it. It's not legal advice, but it is a guide about use of force uh, deadly force you know the difference between when you're out in public versus your own home so it discusses all that in there we'll also talk about it in greater detail on the podcast so subscribe to that if you haven't already folks but in addition to the use of force interim training for the private citizen they've also come up with a new qualification form for the firearms instructors to complete it's called the permit to carry a safe handling and proficiency certification form and that's what the fire firearms instructors use when they uh, certify each applicant. In addition, there's a permit to carry additional handgun intended to be carried form by the New Jersey State Police. It's basically a, a list of all the handguns you intend to carry. Now, talking about this with uh, some other people like Nate from Crosshair Tactics, there is not a spot for a firearms instructor to sign. So this form is not a form that a firearms instructor would certify that you've qualified. This is just a, simply a list of handguns that you intend to carry. Also, there is a PowerPoint presentation on firearm safety and awareness. You can also download this from the New Jersey State Police website. You have to complete this. In summary, this interim training, the New Jersey State Police has already described or uh, explained that this is while they develop, in conjunction with the New Jersey Attorney General's Office, a comprehensive training curriculum, which will include classroom, online, as well as range instruction and qualification. This comprehensive training curriculum has not been established yet, will be established, and will be statewide a st a standard for all permit-to-carry applicants. Until that time, until this comprehensive training curriculum is established, Firearms instructors are to ensure that all applicants are instructed on the use of force interim training for private citizen concealed carry, in addition to the PowerPoint on firearm safety and awareness. So they're putting this on the certified firearms instructors and they're saying that they're the ones that remain responsible to ensure that all the permit to carry applicants are properly trained and proficient prior to attesting to their competency on the certification form. In addition to the use of force interim training for the private citizen concealed carry, if you look at that packet, if you open up that PDF, you will see at the end of it is the course of fire. So they explain exactly what they want each applicant to do at the range, how they want them to qualify. It does say on the certification form that the firearms instructor is certifying that the applicant has successfully completed or qualified on a course substantially similar to the HQC2 modify, which is the course of fire that they've included in the use of force packet or document. So we have new documents, we have a PowerPoint presentation, we have a use of force training requirement, and we have a course of fire uh, requirement that they've included as well. The new training requirements, if you read that paragraph on new training requirements, they say that by the seventh month after date of enactment, it was enacted in December 2022, the seventh month is July, we are in the seventh month now. The New Jersey State Police has not come out with a comprehensive training program. However, they've come out with this interim training. So the question is, do you need to complete the new interim training prior to October 1st, because that would be the 10th month after the date of enactment if you haven't completed this training. So this, if you read the certification form, it does say 
you, the certified firearms instructor is certifying that the applicant has has qualified with a course of fire substantially similar to HQ C2 modified. So I think the issue is it it depends on where you got your training. If you got a training from a uh, company or a firearms instructor and they provided training that was substantially similar to this curriculum, then you should be good to go until you renew again. My suggestion to you is contact your firearms instructor that qualified you and find out because you need that use of force and you need the firearm safety and awareness. Now that PowerPoint presentation is also required for when you apply for a New Jersey firearms ID card or a permit to purchase a handgun. So that is training that everyone who's carrying a gun in New Jersey most likely should have already had anyway. So my point is, if you've had the use of force for a private citizen, if you've had the uh, qualification that's substantially similar to the HQC2, you should be good to go until you renew again. So contact your firearms instructor if you're not sure or where you got your training and find out if your training course was substantially similar to what the interim training requirements are now. The other issue that is not clear to me is the uh, whether or not you have to qualify with every handgun you own. I know there's been discrepancies about this over the years and recently when the, uh, the courts issued the permits to carry, some judges were telling permit to carry holders, you don't need to qualify with every handgun. Other judges were telling them they do need to qualify. Some police departments are doing the same. Some are telling them, yes, you do. Some are saying, no, you don't. A lot of people, to me, a lot of people like to look at the requirement that says only one permit is required for all handguns owned. That to me, and this is a personal interpretation, that to me is not about qualification. That to me just says that if you own 10 handguns, you don't need 10 permits to carry. You only need one. To me, the qualification is a separate issue. Now, I personally think that if you've qualified with a pistol, you should be able to carry any legally owned pistol that you have. However, in the past, it hasn't been that way. In the past, it's been tell us what you intend to carry and tell us, show us the proof that you've qualified. So we don't know yet. Now, this new form that the state police put out there listing all the handguns you intend to carry, to me, that's more of a registration list. It does not have a spot for a firearms instructor to sign. So to me, that's not a form that the firearms instructor signs and says, here are the five guns that uh, John Doe is going to carry, and I've certified that they're, they qualify. To me, you would have to put that on the certification sheet or have each she another a separate sheet for each firearm that you've qualified with. On one hand, to me, it's not a big deal to qualify with the guns you want to carry. On the other hand, I know some people say, well, the firearms instructors charge and it's going to cost me a lot of money to qualify with my 10 handguns that I want the option to carry. My advice is shop around. Some firearms instructors will not charge you full price to qualify with each handgun. They may charge you a little bit more because it's going to take longer, but not all of them will charge you full price for each and every handgun you want to qualify with. Shop around. Hopefully, we're, we're going to hear from the state police about a more definitive answer on the qualification for each and every handgun. They may just leave it up to each county prosecutor, and in that case, you go through your police department. So that's what I would recommend you do currently ask your police department, do what they tell you to do. If your police department says, yes, submit proof of qualification. If you want to add a handgun, then that's what you do. If they say you're good to go, then you're good to go. Don't have an answer for you because I don't think there's a definitive yes or no across the board. It seems to vary from county to county or police department to police departments. Uh, so the other question is when this comprehensive training program comes out, is everyone going to be required to take this course or is it just going to be for new applicants? Because if you've already satisfied a substantially similar training curriculum, then to me, you shouldn't have to take it all over again. But we will have to see folks. We'll have to just wait and see. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button and please share it with anyone you think will benefit. So any firearms instructor that you know may not have uh, been notified about this. So please forward it to them, share it with them. Anyone that you know has a permit to carry in New Jersey, please share it with them as well. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and hit that notification bell so you know when we release new videos. And don't forget about the podcast. I'll put that link as well. Subscribe to that. We're going to be talking about these issues and try to keep everybody up to date. Thanks for watching. Take care. And stay safe.